Let's say you have a two molar solution of HCl in water and you want to make 150 milliliters of a 0.2 molar HCl solution. How many milliliters of water and two molar HCl do you need to combine to make this? Unit four point. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today we're going over some practice problems pertaining to aqueous reactions. If this piques your interest, stick around. These include problems on electrolytes, displacement reactions, Bronsted Lowry or Lewis reactions, oxidation and reduction determination, how to prepare specific concentrations or molarities from stock solutions, and how to calculate an unknown solution's concentration using a titration. I'll go through the answers at the end of the video. Pertaining to unit 4.1 with aqueous solution properties and electrolytes, let's say you dissolve MgCl2 in water for an upcoming chemical reaction. Classify the Mg2 plus Cl minus in water using the following terms, electrolytes, non-electrolytes, solutes, and solvents. With precipitation in unit 4.2, we talked about the formation of solid precipitates from displacement reactants and spectator ions. Is the reaction between zinc and hydrochloric acid a single or double displacement reaction? The reaction looks like Zn plus 2HCl going to ZnCl2 plus H2. Unit 4.3 goes over acid-base reactions and the differences between Bronsted-Lowry and Lewis reactions. Classify the following reactions as strictly Bronsted-Lowry or Lewis reactions. Acetic acid in water, CH3COOH plus H2O going to CH3COO minus plus H3O plus. Aluminum chloride and chloroform, AlCl3 plus CHCl3 going to AlCl3 CHCl3. Unit 4.4 explains oxidation and reduction reactions. For example, is copper or zinc getting reduced in the following reaction? Cu2 plus plus Zn going to Cu plus Zn2 plus. Unit 4.5 goes over concentrations and molarity. With this, we brought up the equation C1V1 equals C2V2. Let's say you have a two molar solution of HCl in water and you wanna make 150 milliliters of a 0.2 molar HCl solution. How many milliliters of water and two molar HCl do you need to combine to make this? Unit 4.6 explains titrations and how to calculate concentrations of an unknown solution. For this, let's say you titrate 10 milliliters of an unknown molarity of aqueous H2 SO4 with 15 milliliters of one molar NaOH for it to reach its neutralization endpoint. What is the molarity of H2SO4? And here are the answers. For unit 4.1, remember electrolytes are charged ions, solutes are the species getting dissolved, and solvents are species doing the dissolving. Therefore, Mg2 plus is an, is an electrolyte and a solute, Cl- is an electrolyte and a solute, and water is a non-electrolyte and a solvent. Unit 4.2, the reaction between zinc and hydrochloric acid is a single displacement reaction because there is only one displacement between the zinc and the hydrogen. Unit 4.3, acetic acid in water is a Bronsted-Lau reaction because the acetic acid, the CH3COOH, donates a proton to water, res resulting in the acetate ion and hydronium ion H3O+. Remember, Bronsted-Lauer reactions pertain to the donations of protons. Aluminum chloride and chloroform is a Lewis reaction because the aluminum chloride accepts an electron pair from chloroform, forming the complex AlCl3CHCl3. For unit 4.4, remember the acronym oil rig with oxidation and reduction. With this acronym, Oxidation is loss of electrons and reduction is gain of electrons. Therefore, copper is getting reduced because it goes from a two plus charge to neutral and to do that, it must gain, hence reduction, electrons. Unit 4.5, using C1V1 equals C2V2, we get two molar times V1 equals 0 0.2 molar times 150 milliliters. Solving for V1, we get 15 milliliters. So we need to add 15 milliliters of the two molar HCl to 135 milliliters of water to make the desired 150 milliliters of the 0.2 molar HCl solution. Unit 4.6, 
using C1V1 equals C2V2 again, we get one molar times 15 milliliters equals C2 times 10 milliliters. Solving for C2, we get 1.5 molar HCl. If you found value in this video, please like it and let people know about the channel because it really does help spread the knowledge. Take care, everyone. Much for spending your valuable time learning and bettering yourself. If you like the video and want to learn more, donate, or get tutoring, please check out my website, nocollegeneeded.org. You can use the code NCN for 20% off tutoring and any supplemental material.